Hello my dear children. I hope you all are doing good and keeping safe. Today your mom is here with a story and to teach you the concept of tens and ones. So what would you like to listen first? A story? Okay, then let's start our story. The name of our story is The Hunter and the Pigeons. Shall I repeat the name? The Hunter and the Pigeons. Can you tell me who is a hunter? A hunter is a person who hunts animals and birds. And here is our pigeon. Can you see here? One of the pigeon has a crown on its head. This pigeon is the leader of these pigeons. Okay, then let's begin our story. Okay then. So, one day a flock of pigeons were flying in search of food. While flying, they saw plenty of grains scattered on the ground. By seeing these grains, the pigeons felt very happy and they flew down to pick up the grains. But unfortunately, it was a trap. A net laid by the hunter. The hunter scattered the grains and laid a net on it to catch the birds. While flying, these pigeons couldn't notice the net. They saw only the grains. The pigeons were trapped and they got scared. At that time, the leader of the pigeons told to other pigeons, Don't be afraid. If we all fly together with the net, we can escape. Then the pigeons decided to fly together. When the hunter started approaching the pigeons, all pigeons flew together. Seeing this, the hunter was surprised. While flying, the leader pigeon said to other pigeons, Let us fly to my friend, the mouse king. He can help us. So, how can a mouse help the pigeons from the net? The mouse can cut the threads of the net with their sharp teeth, right? So, all the pigeons decided to fly to the mouse king. When the leader pigeon called out to the mouse king, the mouse king came out of his hall. And seeing his friend and the pigeons in trouble, the mouse king called out other mice. The other mice came out from the hall and what did they do? They cut the threads of the net. In no time, all the pigeons were free. And they thanked the mouse king and the mice and they flew away happily. So my dear children, can you tell me what is the moral of the story? The moral of the story is Unity is strength and one should not lose hope and courage even in extreme difficulty. What does unity mean? Unity means being together as one. And what does unity strength mean? That means when you work together you are more stronger. You cannot do all the work alone. But you can deal with any worst situation with the power of unity. So my dear children, I hope you all have enjoyed the story. Now let's learn the concept of tens and ones. It is a number concept. 
so let's start with the concept now children you are going to learn the concept of tens and ones i repeat tens and ones for this first look here i have a small house we have to name this house the name of the house is ones what is the name of the house it is ones so i am going to write o o represents ones that is the name of the house now i am going to write the numbers from 1 to 9 below this house so let's write okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 before writing 10 here i have few blocks so let's stack these blocks let's stack nine blocks so it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay now after 9 what is the number after 9 it is 10 there are 10 blocks in one set that means i have one tens one tens means it is number 10 now let's write number 10 in the ones house how to write number 10 in ones house in ones house we can write only one digit number what is a digit digit is a single number so how to write 10 then how many digits are there in 10 there are two digits right one and zero one and zero makes 10 but we can write only one digit in ones house so what we have to make for that we have to make another house here ma'am has made a another house so for this house we have to keep another name here ma'am is going to give the name as tens what is the name tens for that we can represent the house with the letter t so letter t represents the tens house now let's see how we are going to write number 10 for that first we will write zero in ones place zero in ones house and one in tens house here 10 has two digits 0 and 1 and we cannot keep two digits in ones house we made another house and named it as tens house and we put number 1 in tens house for writing 10 so now after 10 what is the number after 10 it is 11 so how to write 11 in tens and ones place let's look at that here i have tens house and ones house so how to write 11 11 has two digits so we have to write first digit in tens place and the second digit in ones place so 1 1 11 so let's write till 20 after 11 i have 12 so 
2 12 then 13 1 3 13 then 1 4 14 1 5 15 1 6 16 1 7 17 1 8 18 1 9 19 and how to write 20 it's 2 0 so first we have to write 2 in tens place and 0 in ones place this is how we write 20 in tens and ones place here ma'am has already made a set of 10 blocks now we are going to make another set of 10 blocks so let's start after 10 it is 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 now I have two sets of 10 blocks here is the one set of 10 blocks and the another set of 10 blocks how many set of 10 blocks I have I have two sets of 10 blocks so I will say it is two tens two tens what does two tens means two tens means 20 two tens means 20 look here I have 20 blocks right 10 in one set and 10 in another set I have 20 blocks and we call it as two tens now children can you tell me what does three tens means yes you are correct it is 30 three tens means 30 and four tens means 40 now let's consider a number 35 and let's see how to write number 35 in tens and ones place for that first you have to write the number 3 in tens place the number which is there in your left side in your tens place and which is there in your right side in ones place that is number 5 so 35 we can write as 3 5 and we can say 3 tens and 5 ones now another example 42 how to write yes number 4 in tens place very good and number 2 in ones place and how we can say it is 4 tens and 2 ones let's see one more example it's 13 how to write 13 the number which is there in your left side is 1 so 1 I have to write in tens place and the number 3 in ones place that means 1 tens and 3 ones and the number is 13 so in this way we can write the numbers in tens and ones place now here I have an activity for you here I have arranged some squares on this magnetic board here I have a set of 10 squares and this is another set of 10 squares and here we have 6 squares so by seeing this can you guess the number what is the number before that I can sing a song for you to understand this concept so let's start the song yes I don't know but I have been told I don't know but I have been told tens are tall and ones are small tens are tall and ones are small 
First you count up all the tens. First you count up all the tens. Add the little ones to the end. Add the little ones to the end. So in the song it is tall. Tens are tall and ones are small. Correct? Here tens are tall and ones are small. And first you have to count up all the tens. So how many tens we have here? We have two tens. First set and second set. So I will write two here. We have two. First you count up all the tens. Then add the little ones to the end. How many ones? There are six squares. So I will write six here. So what is the number? Two tens and six ones. How to write them? It is two six. The number is twenty six. So my dear children, I hope you all have understand the concept of tens and ones clearly. So now let's say bye bye. Bye bye my dear children and take care.